Hi everybody, my name is Aaron Elton and I've come up with an idea on how I think uh, countries like Uganda, which are uh, rapidly developing, very, very diverse, and um, facing many, many issues and problems that they have to solve. Um, so this is a program that uh, I've, I've decided to call MAPSYS, uh, two words, MAP Systems. And uh, I, I believe Uganda is just a perfect uh, a pilot country for this, uh, we should give it a shot. Um, so let's let's jump in here. So I call this a, a modern country development platform, and uh, I think a project like this could receive a lot of funding in terms of training all of its government officers who would interact with this program, as well as um, teaching the general public to use this program in in coordination with the with the government. Um, I think this is a great. Uh, way to use innovation fund finances uh, that the country does have at this time going into this next five years with the NRM government up till 2020. So this system is primarily a communication system. This is going to bridge the gaps between the people and the government and the environment. Right now, in order to interact with the government, you need to know the people directly. You need to go and do your work to, to find them and get their, get their numbers and get their emails and have those meetings. Well, this platform, as you're going to see, is going to bridge those gaps and those existing gaps um, that are prevalent in, in, in almost all developing countries and, and even in modern countries. So perhaps this application could work for, for every country in the world. I'm sure there's similar models that are being out there. Really, this is going to enable the government to monitor and enhance their operations. So on the government government side, I really think this is the key, one of the primary objectives of this program is to give the top commanders and the top leaders in government the ability to monitor and evaluate all of the different funds that are being pushed out into development programs. So we're talking about Operation Wealth Creation, uh, the Women's Fund, the Youth Fund, healthcare programs, and, and later on we can add in waterworks and roadworks um, and this program can become quite a sophisticated but also easy to use platform for them to really monitor and, and evaluate the way their funds and the way that their agents all of the different people are using these funds because it, it kind of becomes a, a database for record keeping um, this would enable the general public going out of the government and coming into who the government works for which is the people of the country well Anybody with a smartphone or access to the internet can, can interact with this program. So this really enables the modern society which Uganda is becoming to gain that information about what is their government doing and how can they interact with so that they can enhance the country's development objectives. You can imagine what it would be like if everybody in the country knew what the government's objectives were in each district, for each township, for each uh, province. This is a, I believe this is a very powerful idea to, to be able to accomplish. So it's not just a map, it's, it's, it's graphs, it's, it's, it's data recording. And this is, this is something that is going to give us the ability to show people these are, the, these are the directions that the government wants to go in based on also, of course, the sentiment of the people. I mean, people want their countries to work. And this has to do with ecology, this has to do with housing, this has to do with women and youth and all of those funds. They have objectives, but where do you go to figure out what those objectives are as a common citizen? So all of these development funds can be co uh, cohesively gathered into this one application that is harboring the information online. So very, very secure. It's never going to go. Di it's never going to disappear using all the latest um, available technologies. This is a great modern way to help your country develop. So detailed country region and district information providing the the connectivity and accountability for the country's objectives if 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 everybody in the country has the ability to look at their own district be it um you know the west or the east or even your own township you can take a look and see what are the politi what are the polit political agents who are responsible for these development objectives actually doing because this is a reporting system for the government to be able to show the people this is what we're doing. And then the people can then follow up and check and say, hey, you know what? This is working or, again, make suggestions as well and connect directly with the government agents in their local constituencies to say, you know what? I'd like to help or I would like to be one of the recipients of this because I believe based on your objectives and based on these funds, I can help develop this country. I'm ready. And every Ugandan is ready to help. I think this is a great way to connect people. So this really 
enhances public relations, this right away starts to show the, the, the general public that this is a modern government, this is a government that is focusing on the future, and it is driving development with all the available modern technologies, and that's really what this is. We're bringing it all together in this one application. And, of course, the very bottom uh, note here is that you're setting clear targets. Now, everybody knows that targets are very difficult to accomplish, especially within the timelines that we sit down. When we sit down in the planning phase to, to accomplish something, we really want to do our best. But we know that in a developing country, um, you know, those targets are not always easy to easy to reach. But at least by setting those targets out and giving it to the general public so that everybody sees them, you're gathering that psychic energy the, that, that, that is a nation, you know, the nation of Uganda now is aware of the objectives just by making people aware of what the targets are for the government. There's kind of like a, a, an enhanced, almost like a recruitment of energy and people can start to co cohesively talk about and, and communicate about what it is that their, their region and what it is that their involvement can do to help move and further those objectives. And of course, there can be a really amazing media campaign to get the general public to start to use this, hopefully, as much as they would use, um, well, maybe not as much as they would use Facebook, but in the same way, for those citizens who are genuinely concerned about their nation and the future for their children, this is a great way, if we enact this program with the government of Uganda, um, to, to give those concerned citizens an excellent touch base with their government. So the app is, um, it's online, of course, and, and, and you, you, you have the map of Uganda. That is kind of the visual. And the visual, this, this image we're seeing here, this is just a, an image that I picked which kind of gives an understanding of how a map can change based on the information that you're trying to provide the user. You have visual information which is showing the user the different data that is displayed based on the different wealth creation or, sorry, the different development funds that, that they click on. So if I click on Operation Wealth Creation, then the map of Uganda can show all of the different districts that have receiving funds that have government agents who are operating on wealth creation as well as all of the information about what wealth operation wealth creation is all about and where are the services available to be able to receive things like seedlings and cattle and you know improved farming systems and then you can click on the women's development fund and the map will change it'll show you where all the projects for the women's development fund and so on and so forth with the youth development and also the innovation fund and NADS, you can you can really see now. Of course, you can you can understand that with an application and online storage capacity, this application has the capacity to become very diverse to represent all of the all of the government bodies that interact with the landscape that is Uganda, the geopolitical landscape that is a nation in the works. So this is a really interesting idea. As far as I'm concerned, it's a bit like a game, and in the app industry. Um, there is a word called gamify to to gamify a platform so that it becomes like you know actually entertaining in a way so that people can actually come and really collect a lot of interesting data so that they can make better choices about how to interact with the government. So the app continued. Let's let's keep talking. We'll go a bit deeper. So we don't just see the the, the map of Uganda alone, but the idea of 112 districts. Um, and all the different regions, you can click on a district in this app and it will go into that district to provide the exact contact information, the objectives of that district, the accomplishments, the tenders that are available, you know, because the government needs to hire people, it needs to employ people to accomplish their objectives. I mean, this is what um, development is all about. It's about engaging with the people to create the, the, the harmony of work and technology use uh, to accomplish a, a developed nation. So all of these accomplishments are registered on a timeline. So clicking on your district, you can see everything from the beginning of the app it, well into the future of what's been going on month by month, year by year. Um, and, and all of the services are available, and you can even have a calendar of the scheduled events. This gives government agents in a district the ability to coordinate much more effectively because 
they don't all have to be keeping their own calendars and being uh, super, super organized. We know that uh, one of the issues facing a lot of developing nations is, is organization. Um, generally, people have a lot of stuff going on in their life while they're also trying to maintain their work and, and accomplish objectives. Well, this app puts the calendar, it puts the objectives, and it puts the organization in their pocket, so to speak, always available wherever they have a technological device that can access the internet. And as well, the data can be stored on their phone, cached, so to speak, on their phone. So this map changes, Mapsys changes based on the development fund user has clicked on. So in this example here, and again, this is just hypothetical images for you. This is not the actual app. This is just to give you the idea of what the app would look like as we develop it, because this needs to be built. This is just a proposal. But in this instance, it's as if we've clicked on NADS. And this app might be showing all the different NADS projects in the region. And of course, through the NADS image, you could click on the district and go in and find out where can I find those services in, let me say, Karamoja or, you know, the Sese Islands and so on. So again, you could change the map by clicking on the different, the different funds, like the innovation fund at the bottom there. And you would see all the different innovation fund um, activities. Um, so the other thing that I, I, I want to really make clear in this proposal is that the click-through information, meaning the information that is potentially available through this app, is unlimited. This means that this application and its servers online can hold as much information as the government can provide it with. So this can literally become the, the, the ultimate record of the country showing all the different activities that the government is deploying into its country. And you can imagine the efficiency there and the savings that can go on with such a, a, an application well accomplished and actuated for the country. So here in this proposal, I, I came up with this idea after being in Uganda for 10 years and really studying the issues here and also communicating as, as I go along with higher and higher level officials, people who have been here since the very beginning of the NRM movement and this idea I believe is perfectly situated for Uganda and the world but I really believe this is something that needs to be done by the best of the best in the world so we need to engage Google they have their their Google Maps they also have Google Earth these are applications which exist which have the very same sort of attributes that I'm talking about and really all we need to do is get them to see the value in this not only for their own companies, but for the betterment of the world, and say, hey, yeah, let's uh, let's make this Mapsys app and just transform Google Maps. Uh, and they can even integrate it into Google Maps so that they can actually develop and take on the burden of the cost of developing this. Because you can imagine such a sophisticated app will cost quite a lot compared to you know just a small uh, run-of-the-mill app. Um, international and global application is obvious. I really think that if Uganda can accomplish doing this, Every other country in the world should take this on. Um, Uganda can benefit immensely, um, but again, like I say, if we don't build it the, the best way that we can, if we don't engage partners like Google or IBM and, and so on, these top developers, I really don't see this app being able to work. It, it might go on for one year, and then the user the usability of it or the, the, the bugs will just bog it all down, and then it'll just get scrapped. And that would be a very sad story. So I think going in it from the beginning with Google, I think that's the best way to go because they do have the best app online applications as far as I'm concerned. Um, we could roll out the beta version with this. So in order to get this activated, there is on-ground training that needs to, needs to take place. And we do need to try it out. And I think Operation Wealth Creation and NADS, the NADS officials along with Operation Wealth Creation would be the perfect platform to test this program and to get it rolling. Once those officials have the understanding of the program and we will make it as user-friendly as possible, it'll be as easy as Facebook uh, to, to upload information and to, 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 to generate the data which these officials would then be you know, re uh, required to do by the government so that the government, central government can really get a very strong immediate grasp on what's going on month to month, year to year. So we would go on the ground and we would do trainings uh, in the west, in the, in the north, in the east, and in the central, central districts. And again, that's where the innovation funds come in, to train the, 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 the government officials on how to use this platform and why to use this platform.
Um, further benefits, this might be a little bit, little bit um, prolonged, but this really does enable people with internet access to gain valuable knowledge. That is really what this app is all about. Um, this also, Uganda being one of the youngest countries in the world, it, it really does impact the youth involvement. And I think youth involvement and development in, in a country like Uganda is stifled by the current lack of communication ability between governance and government bodies and the youth. I mean, the youth are, are in this country are very, very, um, they don't really have access to these sort of government officials as much as I'm sure the government would like. Well, this is really bridging that gap. So, um, so many, so many young people will really use this app to get in touch with their government in a more cohesive strategy. So it's really closing the gap between who, what, and where can I get involved as a young in, young person, you know, trying to trying to figure out how I can help my country and also help myself to get a better life. Um, this is providing the the app is providing up to date data for oversight of government affairs, which you could imagine would have a huge savings on operations costs and boost the government efficiency. I think. A study would be done um, maybe a year or two into the program to see just how much of a savings the government can experience from having all of its agents being able to upload their data and send in their reports and communicate effectively in this way. Um, I really think the, the savings and also the, the efficiency of this program cannot be understated. So again, my name is Aaron Elton. I've been in Uganda for 10 years, diligently studying how to solve global problems by looking at the issues uh, in, in East Africa. And um, my focus is on reforestation and sustainable agriculture and, and also sustainable civilization design. And I'm here and I'm available to, to help drive this forward. And I'm really looking forward to working with anybody who believes that this would be a good application to at least give it a shot. So thanks again for your time.